The United States will provide Taiwan with military assistance worth up to $345 million, the White House said on Friday. The U.S. Congress authorized up to $1 billion U.S. billion worth of presidential drawdown authority weapons aid for Taiwan in the 2023 budget. This move was likely to further provoke China and threaten the status quo in the Taiwan Strait. Beijing has repeatedly demanded the United States, Taiwan's most important arms supplier, halt the sale of weapons to the island. The package was expected to include four unarmed MQ-9A reconnaissance drones, but note their inclusion could fall through as officials work through details on removing some of the advanced equipment from the drones that only the U.S. Air Force is allowed access to. The formal announcement did not include a list of weapon systems being provided. Among the issues that could confound the inclusion of the drones was who would pay for their alterations. Taiwan has previously agreed to purchase four more advanced MQ-9B Sea Guardian drones, which are slated for delivery in 2025. Foreshadowing the upcoming aid, Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin on May 16 told a Senate panel he was pleased that the United States would soon provide significant additional security assistance to Taiwan through the Presidential Drawdown Authority that Congress authorized last year. The Presidential Drawdown Authority, PDA, has been used on an emergency basis to expedite security assistance to Ukraine by allowing the president to transfer articles and services from U.S. stockpile. The Taiwan PDA, however, is a non-emergency authority approved by Congress last year. Liu Pengyu, a spokesman for the Chinese embassy in the United States, said in a statement on the 28th that China firmly opposes the establishment of military relations and arms sales to Taiwan by the United States. The U.S. should stop creating new tensions in the Taiwan Strait. Before announcing this latest military aid plan, the U.S. State Department approved the sale of a batch of ammunition and logistics spare parts to Taiwan on June 29th, with a total value of 440 million U.S. dollars. This is the 10th arms sale to Taiwan since the Biden administration took office in 2021 and the second arms sales this year.